What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another year of Striper Season Updates with On The Water Magazine. I'm Matt Hefner. I'm the assistant editor here at On The Water. And like you, I am beyond excited for another year of Stripe Bass Fishing. If you watched our weekly video updates from the spring run of 2022, you'll recall guest speakers from the Striper Coast like John Skinner, Dustin Stevens, and Captain Joe DiOrio joining the show. Over those 14 weeks, we had some fantastic in-depth conversations to fill you in on the spring striper fishing as it pertains to your region. But this year, we're switching things up a bit. We're following our weekly striper migration maps more closely to cover changes in water temperature, bait concentration, the hot lures of the spring, and much more. Despite some colder than usual weather in mid to late March, water temperatures are almost exactly where they were last year. Anglers in southern New Jersey will likely find the most success right now by targeting the many bridges in the back bays, where schoolie and slot sized stripers are using current and hard structure to fill up on anything passing through those bridge abutments. For the best chance at success right now, use low profile soft plastics and fish at night. Up until last week in North Jersey, striper fishing had been tough and mostly limited to the rivers where the hot bait was undoubtedly bloodlines. Now, there are reports of adult bunker already in the Raritan Bay area, which has ignited some lights out fishing in the bay. We've got reports of big fish biting on all sorts of plugs like metal lips, darters, and SP minnows. The boats are getting in on the action in open water, and when the fish aren't suspended, anglers are catching them on heavy swim shads by jigging in deeper water. If you're fishing by day or by night right now, plugs and swim shads are absolutely the move. Based off the fishing report from our Northern New Jersey field editor, John Oswald, it seems like the bass fishing is just getting better every day, almost every hour. We've got reports of 40 inch fish swimming around the bay. We got gannets working in open water on schools of bait and there's no sign of it slowing down anytime soon. Mike Gleason attack waterman in Long Branch said there's lots of fish around, especially up in the Raritan Bay in variety of sizes from schoolies to over slots. He's heard of bass up to 42 pounds. The action has been on metal lip swimmers and shads and no stripers have been reported on the beach, but there have been plenty of birds working on schools of bait, specifically those gannets. Mark Fiduli at Tackle World in Rochelle Park said the reports of stripers are coming in out of the back of Raritan Bay, although there's plenty of action out in the middle bay as well. The rest of the bay is loaded with bait and the gannets are taking full advantage. Mike Pinto at Giglio's Bay and Tackle in Seabright said the striper fishing is slowly gaining momentum, especially up in Raritan Bay. Pinto said the bass have been spread out all over the bay and that shads and flutter spoons are working for the boat anglers. Bloodworms continue to catch fish for those fishing from the Bay Shore beaches. And then we have Matt Hager at the Real Seat in Brio who said the bass are moving up the coast right now. A lot of the fish in Raritan Bay apparently have sea lice and that the fishing has been very, very good for a 15 to 25 pound bass. The biggest he's heard of is up to 33 pounds. They're biting on no live bait needed swim shads, pajama plugs and metal lip swimmers. Hager also reported that the bass are in the back of the Manasquan River and by the bridges. And while the fishing is just heating up in New Jersey, anglers to the south in the Chesapeake Bay region will have to wait until the end of April to earn their stripes. As of tomorrow, April 1st, it is illegal to attempt to catch striped bass inside the bay or its tributaries as the stripers prepare to and begin to spawn. As the water temperatures in Chesapeake Bay climb into the high 50s, spawning activity will begin. Further north and east on Long Island, winter holdover stripers are putting on the feed bags in Long Island's back bays. Water temperatures inside Jamaica Bay are reaching high 40s, and catch and release fishing activity is ramping up as a result. In the weeks to come, Long Island's West End on both north and south shores will come to life with stripers weighing in the low teens, and larger bass will be swimming in their wake. Just remember, striper fishing is strictly catch and release for anglers south of the George Washington Bridge until April 15th. Right now, the greatest chance for some early season stripers in New York is to pry the back bays at night by slowly dragging soft plastics and bucktails through choke points with changing bottom structure. Otherwise, soaking bloodworms on the shores of the Hudson River is a good method to finding some fish as well. Up in New England, anglers are consistently catching holdover striped bass from Connecticut and Rhode Island up to the north shore of Massachusetts. Warming water temperatures and a seemingly early herring migration across New England has bass biting well in and around the rivers. As the spring migration progresses, we'll begin to see migratory fish in many of the same places that anglers are currently catching holdovers. Over the next week, we'll continue to monitor the spring striper migration with a close eye. Now is a great time to get your tackle ready for the season ahead if you haven't already done so. Organize, re-spool, patch your waders, do what you gotta do to find success this season. And in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow On The Water Magazine and Striper Cup on social media, and check back here next week for another updated Striper migration map from On The Water.